Hello again and welcome to another tutorial in how to draw famous faces, iconic faces. And before we start, of course, if you could subscribe, that would be fabulous. Thank you very much. And also, ring the little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, the iconic face today is Hercule Poirot. Agatha Christie's famous detective creation. And I'm going to draw a stylized version. I'm not going to do lots of details and so on, but a very recognizable uh, rendition, if you like. Okay, and I'm going to start with the hat. Um, now, I'll be drawing the brim of the hat coming up like this from that point there, that would be the side of his face like that. Okay, and this line would come up and the brim of his hat will curve over like that. And keep on going and come round the other side and that kind of curve there. See that kind of shape? And I'll just draw in the underside of the heart and the, the way it touches the forehead here. Comes around in a slightly shallower curve there, coming down to the side of his face there. And then just back up over his ear, which comes in about that shape there. I'll be rubbing out some of these lines later. Uh, the top of his hat, imagine that line carrying up there and then out a little bit and you come up, is that not too far, and across an in, slight dent, out and down and then that kind of shape there. Okay, now just below the line here on the forehead, the iconic eyebrows, quite thick eyebrows, start there, one there, and this one kind of arches up and down a little to the side like that. And almost like uh, commas on the sides. Like that. Okay. Now the eyes. What you do is you draw, come down from the line there, draw a point there, and then just keep them fairly narrow. And a bit deeper curve that side. And then the actual pupils coming in there. And we'll do something different with these eyes later. Have an eye comes in like that. Okay, now the nose, not going to bother with the nose or the mouth, but below the nose, of course, we have probably the most iconic part of Poirot's face, and that's his moustache. Right in the centre here, so you get this kind of curly line coming up, curving up to a point there. Another one coming down at like that, coming up to a point there. And then start again in the middle, come down, and then join that line to there, and that one coming up like that. Okay, now his chin would come in about here. But again, I'm not going to draw the chin because that's going to be left out, and you'll see what it looks like in a minute. But below that, of course, you have another part of his apparel, which is his bow tie. There's a high collar, which comes in about here, but the bow tie appears from the collar. Remember, that's the side of his face, so his neck will appear about here, and you get the bow tie coming around like that. And then going up, his neck will come in there, imagine like that, and the bow tie coming around it. And then you get the centre part of the bow tie coming in here. And then the outside edge coming in like that. Almost quite geometric. Like that. And of course the collar of his coat will come in from about here. Out to his shoulder and down. And appear in there and then come behind the bow tie. To a line there, say. And the other one. The other part of his coat comes in here. And you can make quite a detailed and design detail of his collar, his lapel, very broad, come in like that, quite angular. Okay, so there we have the kind of outline shape of Poirot's face. I'll be rubbing out this line here and this line here, oh, sorry, not that line, this line here, because these areas are going to be filled with black. And before we do that, I'm going to outline all these pencil lines with a pen. Okay, I have my pen now. And I'm just going to go over those pencil lines that I drew. Nice solid lines coming up and like that. Coming up around here. Now I don't have to draw that line in because that's going to be coloured black. Start up here again. 
and so on. This line here. You can see already it's very characteristic of Poirot's face. Come down to there, and that stops there. Okay, you can imagine these lines. The, the lines appear in your imagination. You don't actually have to draw them. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing that, and uh, let's see what it looks like when I've done it. Okay, as you can see, I've drawn around these, uh, or over rather, these pencil lines, and I've started doing the eye, but notice what I've done. I've left the, the pupil in the center here without a line at the top or the bottom. And that's because I'm going to fill in the white of the eye with black, like that, to be the pupil standing out like that. Okay, then what I'm going to do, of course, is just get the black pen and fill in all the black. The moustache, the eyebrows, the hat, this part came around here, and this. So, as usual, when you're shading in large areas, if you come up to the line at the edge and use a smaller pen, just so you don't go over the line, fill that up to there, and then get yourself a larger pen and fill in the rest of the area. Okay, as you can see, I've gone around the edges with a smaller pen, and now I've got a fatter pen, a broader nib, <laughs> and I'm going to fill in the rest of the black. So basically, you just come up to the edge, and use your pen to quickly fill it in like that. Okay. Okay, just finishing off, filling in all the black areas to show you just how you can create the very recognizable character by using the, you know, the most recognizable parts of the character's face. You know, the hat, the eyebrows, the eyes, the moustache, the bow tie, the collar. It all comes together and you get a very stylized, very graphic image of Hercule Poirot. You know, Agatha Christie's most famous creation, actually, famous detective. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.